episodes of Troll Builds. I'm going to be painting the bed black and uh, getting speakers put in, the rock light. Ever since I posted the first video on the truck, I'm sure you've seen it go around, it's been uh, pretty viral, but uh, everyone's been saying you know, the wheel spaces are going to break, they're going to break. They're a lot stronger than people give them credit for, and I'm going to put them to the test. Not on this video, but probably another one. Uh, and we're going to see actually how strong they are. I think they're a lot stronger than people give them credit for. And uh, also, a lot of hate on the bed being white, which, uh, I mean, I just finished it literally a day ago. I didn't even finish it, I was just trying to drive it. So, uh, got to paint the bed black, get the speakers put in, and uh, rock lights put on. But uh, so far, it's either been either they hate it or they love it. But uh, I think a lot of people don't actually know why I built this truck. I only built it to troll the bro trucks, uh, which consists of wheels that cost more than the truck, spacers, and squat and that. Obviously, if you've seen any of my other trucks, you know it's not actually normally how I build my trucks. It's a troll truck that I plan on taking to some uh, truck meets and uh, seeing how it goes. But for now, I'm going to get started. Uh, get that bed cleaned out and we'll get it painted. We'll take a look at those spaces. I'd like to pull them all off again just to check the, uh, you know, check and make sure they're still all tight like they're supposed to be. And uh, another thing I did have to do is uh, those bolts in there can be adjusted on that A-arm. Uh, the wheels were cambered in a little bit to start with, so I actually had to push those out. Uh, a lot of people are claiming the wheel spaces themselves are bending. I don't think that's the case at all. Uh, those look pretty straight, and I mean, you think how strong that really is being a shaft like that. I don't think they're giving at all. But uh, most of it was coming from that A-arm being pushed in, and of course, there's a lot of pressure on there. And uh, so far, it's been driving pretty good. I've only put about 10, 15 miles on it. And uh, rear, obviously, nothing much to see there. But the bed, it had a bed liner in it, so uh, kind of got a little bit of rust under there. I'm going to have to uh, try to clean it, clean it up where I can at least get it painted, primed and painted. So I'll get a water hose or something, spray it out, brush it down, and... Uh, Try and get it prepped for paint, and uh, then I need to mount the speakers in each corner right there. So, get that mounted up. So, you got the switch panel to put on inside. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Uh, I thought I'd put it here, but obviously the radio's in the way. So, uh, I haven't decided on that yet. I think for now, I'm just going to get the bed painted black. Choose some rollers on it for today, and. Uh, then we'll post up the rest of it once I get to that. And uh, engine wise, still on the stock engine. I'd like to swap a coyote into it or do something crazy with it. I uh, haven't decided for sure, but I'm down for anything. You know, it's already different the way it is. And obviously it looks kind of like an RC truck, which is what everybody's been saying. And uh, you know, this was only about a three week build. I actually attach a picture of the stock truck. I've had it for about two years three years maybe and uh, really never did anything with it until someone actually talked me into doing it they were like well you know I bet you won't put 24 or 14s on it you know it kept going and going and it grew into this right here so it all started out as basically a bet someone didn't think I would do it bro trucks are always talking about their their wheel gap from front to back and uh, I tried doing it on this one but can't really get it I guess maybe I have to go this way. Though. Also, a little sneak peek at the next build coming. You already know what wheels are going on it, I'm assuming. Yep, it's limo. Had it for a while and uh, had added a trailer hitch on it, was towing a boat around with it, but uh, hadn't decided for sure what to do with it till now, and uh, I've actually got pretty big plans for it already, so. Here within a week or so, I'll get started on this one, and it's probably gonna be like something you haven't seen before. Uh, so make sure and stay tuned for this one. All 
I guess the whole squatted trucks really have a purpose. Uh, makes it easy to wash that bed out. Water all just runs back, drains out. Maybe that's why people are squatting their trucks. That must be the reason. Right, it all painted black now. Uh, just a kind of a single, single layer. Should be good enough. Sprayed it down. Definitely looks a lot better than it being white. White just really looks off. So uh, stick with this for now. Then those white speakers in the corners should uh, stand out pretty good. I haven't decided exactly where to mount my rock lights yet. I think uh, maybe on the inside of there, you know, it needs to be pointed out towards the wheel because the wheel is so far out. So if I can mount it on that fender liner, when that area would shine out. And same with the back. I'd have to mount it somewhere on that side there where it comes down to the wheel. This is going to be the end of this video. Uh, didn't get much done today, but got the bed painted in the rear, which makes it look a lot better than it did before. Did not get the speakers in yet, or nothing like that. So, uh, that'll probably get done tomorrow. If I have time to get to it tomorrow, which I think I will. And uh, then I'll post you up and keep you updated on that. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.